Hello Anima developers! In this video, we are going to learn how to overwrite code in Anima as well as download assets. I hope you're excited. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to overwrite code that Anima generates for you and store it in your projects with the example of this trainers app that has been designed for us. I will also be showing you how to access and download assets directly from your Anima app. So, Let's start off with viewing the sign up form in desktop view on our Anima platform. Now, I might decide that I think the input tag for the name looks better in yellow. I can override this in Anima. I would simply click on the right tab right here, select the CSS properties tab, make sure I have the correct element selected and simply add the CSS property of background color yellow. I can also do the same for font size. So here you can see I can simply make the font larger like so. We can store multiple code overrides in this section. Now just like we can add to our Anima platform, we can also download from it too. Say for example, you need to get this image from the Anima platform and onto your local machine quickly. You can simply click on the element and then here in the assets section, download the asset that you need. It really is that simple. So in summary, developers can now have control over the design. We can tweak elements in app to see how they will look like and behave. It's not just a static design anymore. If you want to learn more about working with Anima on your IDE, stay tuned for the next video.